I just want to take a moment to show my love and appreciation to Tati Beauty. Tati Beauty is now closed down. If you guys haven't seen Tati's most recent video, the Tati Beauty website is no more. So I went ahead and did an eye look with this beauty today. If you guys saw my review, you know that a shadow popped out. Actually, a bunch of these popped out and I shattered a beautiful bronze, so I'm missing one. But I decided to use the orangey tones today and that is my little tribute to Tati Beauty. I will always love this textured neutrals palette and I will always wish that that bronze shade did not shatter. R.I.P. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel so good to be filming more regularly and this is one of my favorite videos to film. So I have some Sephora recommendations for you guys. The sale is coming. The holiday sale is probably happening while this video is up. November 5th is when it starts for Rouge members who get 20% off. The 9th is when it starts for VIB, which is me, for 15% off. And then the 11th is when it starts for Insider for 10% off and it lasts until the 15th and the code this year is yay holiday so if you guys are shopping online use the code yay holiday at checkout and I want to talk about some favorites that I've been loving this was very difficult for me to narrow down so please bear with me there's probably so many forgotten but I also have my cart in front of me with a bunch of products that I'm going to be buying when the 11th rolls around. Hopefully everything stays in stock. Some of this is going to go in and out of stock, but let me stop rambling. If you guys enjoy the sale videos for Sephora, then please give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe if you are new here and you like this type of content and let's get into it. So if you guys know me, you know I am obsessed with Sol de Janeiro and every single year I give the Sol de Janeiro gift sets as gifts. So there's some of my favorite gifts to give. I'm going to be giving this particular set away in one of my upcoming Get Ready With Me videos, but this is my favorite set that they launched this year, and this is my first recommendation because this is available on Sephora. So this set is the Stellar Celebration. It is $42. It's a $55 value. It comes with smaller travel size versions of the products, so it has the shower gel. It does have a full-size lip butter. It has a mini Balm Dia Bright, which is their newest body cream and it has a travel size Brazilian boom boom cream which is a little bit bigger than the bomb dia bright let me see actually if I can pop this out without disturbing the packaging because I am going to be giving this away this body wash is three ounces the Brazilian kiss like I said is full size you get the bigger size of the boom boom it's not full size but it's like medium and then you get the mini of the bomb dia which is perfect for traveling and trying and like throwing in your bag so this is the Stellar Celebration Kit. My number one recommendation for gift giving is always body care because you don't have to be a lover of makeup to appreciate body care. And the reason I'm giving this away in an upcoming video and not gifting it to family is because for the past literal three years, I have given them the gift sets from Sol de Janeiro. So I'm pretty sure they're well set up with Sol de Janeiro. But if you guys have somebody who has never tried it or loves body care but doesn't have Sol de Janeiro, definitely definitely look into these kits. They're such a good deal and they come in really cute packaging so you could just like pop a bow on this and you're good to go. First blush recommendation. Now I have so many blushes to talk about. I'm noticing now that mostly the products I'm recommending are blush. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with blush right now. And this one in particular is my favorite formula that I've been using. And I definitely want to pick up more from this brand. This is Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom in the shade Sweet Peach Peony. I'm really finding myself attracted to brands like Nude Sticks lately. It's like the swipe on the go, beautiful, like minimalistic makeup. But this blush color in particular has been so beautiful. I love a cream blush. I'm very much on that trend right now. I love like a dewy sheen, but not like too dewy. Like this is not a highlighter type of product, but the blush just gives you enough of like a dewy, like juicy looking cheek. I don't know how to explain it better than that, but I am wearing this blush today. I also like the nude sticks packaging. It comes with like a little tin case with a mirror in it. Lately, I've been picking it up with like a light duo fiber brush and then just like tapping it and blending it 
it into the cheeks so mine's kind of a mess but I will go ahead and give a little swatch on the back of the hand this is the shade it's the perfect like creamy just glowy peach and once it's blended out it looks so natural and minimal and it's just so beautiful so I was going to save my cart items like what I'm buying during the sale uh, till the end of the video but I feel like I might as well share because I do have one from nude sticks so my nude sticks product that is in my cart is the bronzer version of the stick so it's like the nudies bronze or whatever and it's in the shade beach babe and it doubles as a blush so it's a nice like warm kind of like reddish toned bronzer and it looks really really good as a blush so that's kind of what I'm angling for is to kind of like just blush and bronze at the same time with that shade so that is in my cart I saw one of the um, co-owners of nude sticks using that color in a live stream and I just got sucked in so that is absolutely in my cart one of the number one products I want to pick up during the sale now I have not played around with this palette yet but given the price of the blushes on their own I think this would be a really great product to buy during the sale if it happens to be in stock so I don't want to hover over this if you guys have seen this maybe Major headlines blush palette from Patrick Ta you know that like everyone is going crazy over it and if you know you know the she's so LA uh, blush was TikTok famous and it was out of stock forever and I jumped on that bandwagon so I have tried the she's so LA blush I will show that to you after but this is a $58 palette which if you break it down into individual blush palettes this is so worth it and if you could happen to get it during the sale if it comes back in stock that would be an incredible value but these are all unique shades so these are new shades that I have not tried yet there's she's a doll she's vibrant and she's baked and I kind of want to try this in a video of its own like I don't want to break into this yet because I desperately want to swatch it and like review it and like try it on so let me know if you guys want to see that but I had to mention this because this is one of the products that I'm most excited for and if I would have been able to get it during the sale I absolutely would have this is like the most coveted blush palette right now so if I can find it anywhere I will link it for you guys and you let me know if you want to see a dedicated video on this so this is She's So LA. I've put a little bit of a dent into this. I've been using it for the past couple of months. I finally got my hands on this. This is currently not in stock either. It might be something that you can find better luck in store. I found my Patrick Ta palette in store in Sephora. So I highly recommend checking out like the end caps in Sephora for these products if you can't get them online. So this for me is such a unique product. It has the powder and it has the cream. I like that they have the little doors on the cream to keep them clean and keep like the powders out but what I like to do is actually put the powder down first and then tap over with cream for a little bit of a sheen and glow on the skin and it just makes everything melt it's such a beautiful like toasted blush slash bronzer which if you can see the theme is something I'm really into right now so this is a beautiful in-between type of product and I do really recommend the she's so LA it's like a super popular sought after product as well but both of these I think are going to be worth it and these are 34 on their own so again that $58 palette has a ton of value if you can get your hands on it I love the packaging I'm really enjoying Patrick Ta and it's another minimalist effortless type of product but it makes your skin just look like your skin but better a lot of the products I'm sharing are your skin but better types of products I'm very very into that right now and I have one more blush I want to share with you guys so again I like to recommend my pricier items during the sale so that I feel justified buying pricier items and this is one of my favorite blushes of all time I've talked about a lot of these before these are the Laura Mercier color infusion blushes so I pretty much have every shade and this is my new favorite this is like the ultimate everyday blush and again it's almost like it could be a little bit of a bronzer it's kind of like a toasty color haven't even told you the color yet it is chai so these are $32 so again a little bit pricey but some of the best powder blushes that I've ever tried they have so many colors the other favorite that I've talked about like I've beat a dead horse about is the shade fresco fresco is a little darker than this and it has a little bit of shimmer in it like a very faint hint of like 
glittery shimmer. This one is completely matte and this one is again that perfect like toasted warm kind of like moving into the holidays type of product and I think that this looks best on me when I'm actually not super tan. Like if I'm a little bit more on the fair side, a little bit more pale, this just warms my skin right up and I highly highly recommend Chai if you guys are looking for a perfect everyday type of natural neutral blush. Now my number one asked question for October was what is your highlighter? What are you wearing? And every single time it has been this highlighter and I have just found a newfound love and appreciation for this highlight. So this is the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. Just just get it. It's what I'm wearing today. It gives you that like I'm glowing model skin, especially if you have a skin tone similar to mine. This is the perfect middle color for a middle skin tone. I'm sure it would look absolutely stunning on anyone though because it's like that rose gold. It's going to look good on fair and deep and medium skin, but for me it's like for whatever reason, this is my shade. This is my color. I don't have to think about it. I just tap it on, blend it out, and we're good to go. I have it on my cheekbones, my nose, and my forehead today, and I don't need a lot of it. It goes a long way. Absolutely stunning. Here she is, and you guys need her. And again, let's talk about a cart product. So just like with nude sticks, I have such an appreciation for this that I want another color. So when I was in store getting my Patrick Ta palette, I actually saw the shade Enlighten, which is the lightest shade in the line. But I, like I said, I do get a little bit more pale in the winter. So I I really want the shade Enlighten. That is in my cart. It was not available in store. So again, it's like you have to play the game. You got to go in store for some of the products. You got to buy online for other products. So I have to buy that one online if I want it. I just think that the lighter shade would be beautiful when I'm a bit more fair and when I'm not self tanned. So that is in my cart. Now I want to apologize in advance because it seems like a lot of the products I love are out of stock but just keep them, bank them in your mind, put them in your cart, sign up for emails because this next product is so worth it, you guys. It's so worth it. So I can't talk about VIB and Sale and Sephora without talking about a perfume because now is the time to buy a perfume if you're eyeballing one, but unfortunately this one is out of stock right now. I don't know what the deal is. So this is my favorite perfume to recommend to people. It's also one of my number one most complimented perfumes. And for me, this one lasts the longest on my body in my collection. So this is the Huda Beauty brand Kayali Vanilla 28. It is such a mesmerizing, beautiful vanilla scent. It's deep. It's going to last. It lasts me a long, long time. And like I said, I get so many questions about this when I'm wearing it. So I'm looking this up on the website and the mini and the full size are sold out but there is a roller ball available that has Kayali Vanilla 28 on one side and Musk 12 on the other side which I'm not sure what Musk 12 smells like but if you do want this in your life I feel like the $25 roller ball would be a great option um, and I'm sure that the musk is actually really nice too so I did not do this on purpose the way that this is laid out but I also have a Kayali fragrance in my cart for the sale and that is the invite only amber 23 and I've also heard I'm not sure if it was in the comments on their Instagram or if they recommended it but I heard that the vanilla 28 smells really good mixed with the new invite only so invite only is on my radar. I'm not sure if I'm going to jump on it or not. It is in my cart. Perfume is expensive, so it's kind of like a meh decision, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it during the sale. So that is sitting in my cart as well, but this is my number one recommendation for a perfume right now, especially going into the holidays, that warm, beautiful vanilla. It's not an overpowering or like nasty, sweet vanilla. It's such a beautiful, sultry vanilla. So highly, highly recommend this perfume. I'm going to rapid fire you guys with foundations that I love. If you happen to be shopping for foundation and you have a dry skin type like me, if you like a dewy foundation, I'm going to recommend the Urban Decay Hydro Maniac. It's a beautiful coverage, beautiful hydrating finish. If you want a matte finish, I really recommend the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I'm also really loving and rediscovering the Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundation. Using both of them right now, I do mix my foundations with highlighters, but those are some of my favorites. And also today, I kind of rediscovered my love for the KVD Good Apple Foundation. This is a super full coverage foundation. It's gonna play really well with cream products 
and the color of this one, Light 12, seems to be a perfect match for me. So I'm happy that I picked this up. I put a huge dent in this. I'll probably get another one when I run through it. It's just, there's so many foundations to talk about. I don't want to like spend all day talking about them. I do have a short video. I'll link it in the cards on some of my favorite foundations. It's like rapid fire reviews for you guys, but those are some that I would recommend if you are shopping for foundation. Another recommendation if you are diving into more expensive skincare is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. So I'm running through my normal size one. It's the like honeycomb looking pot with the wooden cap and the little magnetic scooper on top. I'm obsessed. And what I saw is that Sephora is actually offering a jumbo size. It's $68, so it's pretty pricey, but it's a huge size of it. And I actually use this a lot during the winter, so I'm probably going to add that to my cart. Um, but just the Honey Halo in general is such a good product. Like it's a beautiful, thick moisturizer. I feel like I'm treating my face every time I use it. Love pharmacy, love the Honey line, so that is in there as well. I did research, okay? Like I researched my own collection for this video. I have a lot to say, so I'm trying to fit it all in a short period of time. Okay, so that is it for my recommendations, but I have a few more in my cart on Sephora that I want to talk about that I think are a good deal. So first up is the Kaja Superstars Kit. It's $41. I really like their bento eyeshadow, so I think it'd be a fun way to try some of their other products. Um, I really, really enjoy that type of product to gift as well. I'm super interested in cream makeup and liquid makeup right now, so I also have the Milk Makeup Bionic Liquid Blush in my cart. That is $20. I believe it comes in four shades. It's just something that I'm interested in trying, so that is in there. I personally want to try more from Charlotte Tilbury, and I want to have the Pillow Talk lipstick in my life. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Set. It is a $45 set in my cart because I want to play around more with that like iconic shade. Like I said, I have the Rare Beauty Highlighter, the Kayali Invite Only, and the Nude Sticks Bronzer in my cart. I also have the Purology Mini Hydrating Care Kit for hair. It's $24, and Purology is a really expensive hair care brand, but I hear so many people talking about how good it is and how life-changing it is. I realistically do not need it. I'm using my Function of Beauty right now. I also have like the Maui Moisture and tons of product. I don't need more, but I am very intrigued intrigued by Purology and I've never seen a set be that cheap. So $24 for Purology I think would be great. It'd be great for traveling, but I definitely want to use it more as a trial just to see if my hair likes the brand. That's all that I have written down, but I feel like I definitely have more recommendations now that I'm sitting here and I'm like thinking about it a little bit. So right off the top of my head, something I've been using almost every single day is the Benefit Roller Liner in the shade Brown. Brown winged liner, like a little half wing, has been something I've been doing every single day. So of course, I do recommend that liner. It's been my favorite brown liner. One of my favorite cleansers, just honorable mentions here, is the Youth to the People Superfoods Green Cleanser. It is kind of more my favorite during the summer just because to me it smells like fresh cut beautiful grass. I don't know. I feel like I'm becoming a little bit more like earth centric and like stuff like that is super appealing to me. Also the Pharmacy Green Clean Balm. I've been using a lot of cleansing balms. A lot of brands have been releasing cleansing balms, but Pharmacy, the Green Clean Original will always be my favorite. I have tried one from It Cosmetics though that blew my mind, but that's not available on Sephora. This is the problem, you guys. I could talk about makeup from Sephora that I love literally all day long. Like I could go on and on and on. There's so much that I love, but hopefully this video collection that I shared with you is helpful. I could definitely do more during the holidays, so just let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this was helpful and a little bit of an insight into what I've been loving lately and what I have in my cart because I am also going to be shopping this sale. So happy shopping. I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and taking the time to watch my video. Thank you so much for being here. Please do feel free to shoot me a DM if you want any personalized recommendations. I do respond to as many DMs as I possibly can. And yeah, I think that's all that I have to talk about for the Sephora sale, all that I should talk about because I could just go on and on. But thank you again for being here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and hopefully I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>